Hello friends, it is Ye Old Botbender and I am here with the PSA, a public service announcement um, on how to fix your loose spindle. Um, I know that many people out there uh, purchased these spindle figures and found that the QC was really, really, really bad. And then especially this claw bit was popping off left and right and that they have just really, really loose knees and swivels and legs and things like that. Um, a few people have told me that their spindles are kind of okay, but the vast majority from what I have heard um, and from the people I've interacted with is um, that their spindles are no good, that something happened in the QC process, like look at that, he just doesn't want to stand, and um, yeah, he has very, very loose knees. I mean, the loose fitting stuff, that, I mean, I can kind of address with little pieces of paper, but really, the, the, the problematic area seems to be the claw, the wrist, and um, the loose knees, yeah, but I have found a way to fix it. So, we're going to go over that today, and in order to um, get these fixes done, you need uh, one, spindle, you need two, a small Phillips screwdriver, uh, three, a couple of pieces of paper, any paper will uh, do, and um, some hot water. This is very hot water. This is boiling hot water um, in a thermos just to kind of retain the heat. Uh, and so be very, very, very careful, um, you know, since, you are, since you're since you messing with scalding water, be very mindful. Do not burn yourself, okay? Uh, just be very, very careful about that. So I'm going to set that to the side. And so, again, we're going to address the problematic areas, which are the wrists and the knees and the thigh swivel. So I've actually already done a little bit of work on this claw. And so before, when I would spin it, okay, it just fell off again. Um, this used to come off much easier, but I've done a little bit of work and increased the tightness. You see that? Now it takes a little bit of effort to pop off. Whereas before, yeah, even right now, it's still not that great. But I'm going to show you how to address this and, and, and how to fix this up. Um, the other side, I've done a little bit more work, so it should be a little bit tighter. Um, so, But even, even here, you can just see that these things just pop off left and right, you know. Even with the work I've done. And so part of the problem is that the, the little mushroom peg that you see for the wrist is uh, much smaller than the Paleotrex version. I'm not really sure why they made it smaller, but it is smaller. And if you look at the casing of the wrist, wrist itself, let me see if I can get this really close up. You can see that it's kind of like, um, it, it, it's kind of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of spreading out, basically. It's, it's you see you see that? It, it, it should be uniform, it should be straight, but instead it's kind of like widened at, at the tip. And I think that's the reason why this is not staying in place. And so what we're going to do is we're going to narrow this. And in order to narrow this, that's where you're going to need that hot water. So we're going to bring that hot water here in the background. Um, I don't know what this says. My girl gave it to me. I think it's some Buddhist stuff. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop this off. So I'm just going to dunk it in here. I'm going to leave it in here for about like a minute. Um, I'm not going to put the whole thing in there. I'm just going to put in the little wrist part, uh, the little casing. And um, yeah, it doesn't have to be a full minute, but whatever. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to soften the plastic. Um, since this is not boiling up on the stove, uh, you're not going to melt that piece. But still, be very, very careful. Um, and also like, hey, I don't take any responsibility if you ruin your toy. Um, I'm doing this with full risk that I may potentially uh, harm my toy, but again, I, I've done it already, and so it seems to be working fine. And so what you're doing is, yeah, you're just kind of getting it in there, and you're getting it soft. You're loosening up those um, chemical bonds, and uh, I don't even think it has to be a full minute. After that, just kind of shake it out. Now, after you pull it out, it's not going to be too hot um, just because – oh, actually, it's, it's pretty hot. <laughs> oh, or more, more so it's the water that was there. I'm just going to squeeze this with my hand. I can tell it's a little bit softer. And I don't want to use a vice grip or anything like that because I don't want to leave like any marks um, on the bit. But I'm just going to hold it closed. Just with the force of my fingers. Okay. And I feel like I've squeezed it a little bit tighter. I'm going to put it back in the water again. I'm just going to let it sit. But this is basically what you're doing. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Um, I don't want to keep doing this on camera for you all, so maybe I'll just kind of like pause it for a second. But here, we'll do it one more time. Get it soft. Shake off the scalding water. And just kind of pinch it closed again. 
And be very careful again. You don't want to harm your toy. You don't want to break your toy. But just holding that closed. And when you keep the piece submerged in the hot water and you pull it out after a minute, you'll you'll notice that it's softer. You'll notice that it's softer. And um, here, let's see how the fit is right now. I can already tell that the fit is tighter. Yeah. Swiveling a little bit better, and it's not just popping off. See? So that's all you're doing. Just wash, rinse, and repeat. And, um, yeah, just keep kind of holding it down, keeping it tight. And, uh, yeah, the wrist is in a much better place right now. Earlier it was popping off as I was just swiveling it, but it's not. It's not. And so, cool. There we go. There we go. That's all you need to do. And, um... Here, I'm going to I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to do it a couple more times and see what the results are like. One second. OK, I did it one more time and um, yeah, I, I just kept it closed. I just pinched it, uh, used my fingers as a vice. And uh, I mean, you can see there's kind of some indentations on my, on my fingers. Um, hold on, let me move this away. So this is the one that's had the work done and you can see I'm rotating it. No issues, no issues, no issues, no issues. Let's try the other one. One spin, get it spin, spindle, but look, let's do it one more time. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Actually. I mean, yeah, I've done it once with this already, but that one, you know, I, I've, um, I've dunked in a couple of times while well, this one I've only done once, but even, even after doing it once, you can see it's much improved. Um, as this one, dude, it's like, Oh, Hey, that popped off again. <laughs> That's not cool, but it, it's, it's tighter. It's, it's tighter. And, um, yeah, so it definitely helps out than, than what, what it was originally like when I bought it. So anyway, for what it's worth, that is working for me, so I'm going to set this off to the side. Now, let's take a look at his, um, his very, very loose knees. So, what you're going to do is, you're just going to pop this open. The screws are the same size, the top and the bottom screw, so it doesn't really matter. So, you're just going to pop that off. There's a little panel here. Cool. All right. So the first piece of paper, you're just going to get this tiny piece. Um, this little square that I cut right here. And you're just going to put it there. You know what? It could probably be even smaller. And what you're going to do is you're going to basically just close this on top of it and we're not going to screw it yet but watch you're going to already see that the tightness is much improved much improved yeah and so if you feel that it's not tight enough then just put put in put in more paper um okay and then that's for that and this top part is identical you're you're basically just thickening up like uh you're, you're condensing the 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 swivel space by adding more mass in this form of a piece of paper. Yeah, oops, that fell out. You see that where I have the two pieces of paper? One up here where the swivel is and the other one just down there. And then you get this and then you just put everything back. Okay, I'm just gonna screw everything in. And see, you're not gonna be able to see the screw hole in here because there's a piece of paper. But that's okay. You just put the screw in there and you start spinning. And um it'll 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 thread its way through. Then you just get this top one up here. Cool. And just screw everything in so it's nice and tight. Look at that much more difficult to, to bend earlier. Like see, see this, no force. I don't need any force. Whereas this, I got to put a little bit of uh, strength behind it and the swivel here, almost no force. 
Now this swivel, yeah, nice and tight, nice and tight. So there you go, there you go. Small improvements that you can do. And see, if this is loose fitting, just use that piece of paper. Everything, piece of paper. Just put a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of paper everywhere. And then yeah, now you got the claws, which won't pop off when you sneeze on him. They'll still pop off every now and then, but trust me, it's going to be better than before. Then you got your legs. I mean, this still is loosey-goosey because I didn't do the treatment, but this one here, like, dude, look. See how I just tapped it? Dude, this is not... See that? Very different. Very different. So cool. Yeah. So that was uh, a friendly little PSA from your neighborhood bot bender. He's still not standing uh great but um this could have been a really 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 good figure if not for all these horrendous qc issues but i get it the petrex mold has seen a lot of usage from transmutate um from transmutate to uh skelivore and skelivore even i saw a little bit of mold degradation and plus that one's like clear plastic okay this one's loose um and so I get it. I get it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hating at all. I'm not, I'm not hating at all. Yeah. So I'm going to work on this one and, um, I'm going to make some improvements just so that I have more fun and less aggravation when I play with my spindle figure. And if you do decide to do this fix, remember, just be very careful. Don't mess up your toy. Don't burn yourself. And, um, again, overall concept, you're warming up the plastic so that it becomes more malleable. You're squeezing it to condense the space. Uh, from which the wrist plugs in, and then that's it, that's it. And as for the, the, the knees and then the top thigh swivel, you are sticking in pieces of paper to um, tighten, the, tighten the, the hold in there, the swivel. That's really about it. And I don't know why I'm suffering so bad on my vocabulary, but I just really could not articulate myself well. And um, hope you have enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you all next time. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this. Bye.